my daughter's garage here. Uh, quick little leather revamp video I'm gonna put together here. Um, so basically I've done this before on that XC90 that I had with a light colored interior. I think it was called Sand. A uh, good buddy of mine, actually a few good buddies of mine were able to help me source a proper Gobi interior for the V70R. Uh, got that last year at Tale of the Dragon, did the swap. Um, and my plan was stick with the Gobi because it's light colored, you could have it professionally dyed. But as time has gone on, especially with the white wheels, I kind of feel like the light colored Gobi looks good. Like, it looks good. Oh yeah, paint society. Old school. Um, old school shirt. Uh, anyway, I really liked how it looked. Uh, I'll probably make this a two-part video just because I'm gonna, you know, I'll just give my impressions initially. I've used this product before. It's called Seat Doctors uh, and, or, yeah, Seat Doctors. Awesome owner, I forget his name, but he was incredible to deal with. He was awesome, super knowledgeable. And uh, it, it brought the XC, XC90 back to life. So as time has gone on, I've realized that really the driver and the passenger seat, like the back seats were, were out of a different car, newer, pretty. Uh, the door panels look pretty good in the first place, but this, there's some staining and you know creasing and stuff like that on the front so i figured if i could get those looking decent i'm happy with that interior and i am committed to this car i love that car so here we go so here taking it way back i was actually like oh man i need to order some leather cleaner man i ordered this zano stuff i probably ordered this i couldn't even tell you when this was probably when I got into Zeno was when I first started detailing st cars, and ugh, it must be 15 years old. So that's old. Leather cleaner, and gave it a wipe down. Uh, I believe this is, yeah, this is the, this is the, this is the, um, it's like one of those lint-free towels, you know? So look at how filthy it was I'm just on the bottom. I did the bottom of the seat. This is some Seat Doctors, this is uh, Seat Doctors, the four ounce. This is the camel interior for an Acura, which I had previously. So I happen to have that. Uh, and then let's walk over to the car. So here's the seat. See, the rears actually look damn good, as do the... That one could probably use a die, the door panel. But the bottom, this bottom's the worst, with some bolsters, a little love there. So depending on how well it matches, I might just pick and choose which quadrants I end up treating rather than doing the whole seat. Although it probably would be more uniform to have it on the whole seat, but as usual, I believe a less is more approach is my deal. So I'm gonna try to put some on, I think I'm just gonna do this. You know, that's the worst one. So I'm gonna try doing that lightly. I had great exper experience before. It goes on very easily. Lightly dab it on and it starts drying. Uh, it says you can use a blow dryer. I have a heat gun. I'll just put it on the low setting from, you know, high enough up to provide a little bit of warmth. And then we shall see. I may make a two-part video depending, uh, just showing how the whole thing, you know, comes out once I'm done. All right, got my little panel taped up. I'll give it a whirl. And here's the result. So, it definitely filled in all the little cracks, right? And the color is good. I don't know, it kind of... I'm not sure if I like the luster. I'm gonna contact them to see if there's something you could top it off with. Cause see, the old school kind of has like a glossiness to it, right? And the dye, although the color is good, and it's, you know, it's pretty close. I'm sure it started off this color probably, but it kind of aged evenly. So in a way I almost prefer to have the worn, like uh, what's it called? The worn leather look, you know, like a, like a saddle or something like an actual not saddle color but like an actual horse saddle so we'll see i'll contact them um in the meantime i don't know i might try to use a little goof off to take this off i don't i don't uniformly want this color on the whole thing although i mean it does look cleaner if the whole thing was that uniform color it would look good or it would look cleaner but i'm not i'm not 100 on it so we shall see